Hello guys, today I am going to show you people with Reef Keeper Lights how to set up your ATO and um, your auto top off. If you have bought one of the digital aquatic switches, it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, I do not have a sump, so I will be showing you also how to use the switch in your display and uh, doing this I have come to learn that snails will uh, hang on it and can flood your tank I've ne I didn't have the tank flood thankfully but it did dump a good gallon or so of fresh water into my tank one time and didn't really have an effect on anything but it could have been worse so I'll show you guys how to put a timer on that so you don't have that problem okay let's go over here to uh, my reef keeper light okay I don't know how well you guys can see this basically you want to hit menu go down to uh, modules and I have first off you'll have your switch you'll have your A and B switch I have mine plugged into the B slot so my ATO switch is on switch B and then the pump for my auto top off is plugged into my PC4 right now I hit have it set as lights I need to change that but that is my ATO pump and you want to go to function it will say switch you will want to make sure that your function is set to switch uh, device set to switch A my bad I originally have it set to switch A so that is telling you what the pump is looking for so it's looking for switch A now what happens when switch A is closed it turns on so when that switch when the water level drops right up there when the water level drops that switch will trip into the closed position and the pump will turn on kicking the ATO on um, off device you can leave that as none off off when open so you want to make sure you set that so that your pump turns off when the switch reaches the open position again um, and then here's where you set up your timer I have this set to timer 1 and in standby mode this is on it doesn't it's up to you guys what you do with that and default mode is off you want to make sure it's on the off or default mode and then you can save all that. I'm just going to back out of here. And then we're going to go show you how to set your timer 1 so that you don't have a problem with snails. It'll, it will, uh, sorry this is so shaky. I'm trying to sit here on the floor. Um, you will want to set your timer so that your pump kicks on only for 30 seconds at a time or 20 seconds I think is what I had it set at and it will have a 30 minute loop meaning every 30 minutes if that switch is still low it will kick the pump on and for 20 seconds and then it will shut off so if a snail latches onto your thing your ATO will kick on for 20 seconds and then after that 20 seconds, no matter what, it will stop, giving that snail 30 minutes to either get off that switch, or he might stay there, in which case your pump is only going to kick on for another 20 seconds. And really, you can even lengthen this. Um, I've had this time limit set on my tank for six months now, probably, and... Uh, I've had no problem with the water level level not being able to keep up so I can probably even extend the time on this too 
but this has worked for me and it's saved my butt more than once so uh, you want to go back into here into your menu and you'll go under timers right now you want to go to timer one since that's what your ATO pump is on and you want to set it to every day of the week make sure every single one's on there and then start just keep it at 12 time doesn't matter on duration here's where you want to set your on duration I have it for 20 seconds okay you could probably shorten this to 10 or 15 seconds if you wanted to um, I think you could probably keep up I'm running metal halides and I have no problem keeping up on my ATO it kicks on a few times a day so you want to set that to whatever you want I have mine for 20 seconds and then your off duration after your ATO pump kicks on this is how long it will shut off for after that 20 seconds I have mine set to 30 minutes you guys can probably go higher than that 45 minutes I want to see a problem with repeat count you want set to zero it'll repeat in to infinity um, oscillate off random no and then you save it and that is how you set up your ATO and then you set your water level with the ATO switch I will simply demonstrate I will trip my switch and you will hear my pump kick on for 20 seconds stop and then it won't come back on again so there's my pump kicking on I'll keep that down just so you guys can see if there's a snail on it and there it is off after 20 seconds and it is not kicking back on now uh, I'll leave my switch go but uh, in 30 more minutes if that switch was down it would kick back on but if the snail crawls off or whatever which it should after 30 minutes then the float will return to the up position and your ATO will not kick on anymore and that has saved my ass a few times I know I kind of made this video a little shaky and out of focus. I'm using an iPhone for these videos. I don't really have anything else at the moment. So, I'm doing with what I can. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Uh, hope that helps some of you guys out if you have reef keepers. Alright, thanks.